So, I thought we'd do a wee little uh, video diary of the day. It's, uh, it's not blowing a hoolie today, uh, which is the first time in three days. Uh, but it is a bank holiday weekend, uh, bank holiday Saturday. Um, so we've decided to go for something quite remote today uh, to try and avoid the crowds. Uh, so we are today uh, going to do the Kentmere Horseshoe. Uh, it's about 13 miles. We're going to bag, we think, five new Wainwrights and probably take in two old ones. Um, yeah, and it's going to be quite hard work. It's a glorious day. Here's Jay. And there's a nice early view. Ooh. More climbing, we're heading to the top of Goatin. Leaves on the breeze and the sun on our skin. Go to the fields, gather it. So, one hour, 13 minutes, and we are approaching Yoke, the summit can of Yoke. What a amazing view behind there. This is why we come up here. Bit of a, actually, let's, we go to the top. I'll give you, I'll give you a Whitley 360 from the top. So for those that don't know, we are, we've been bagging uh, Wainwrights for 14 years. 14 years. Uh, and uh, Alfred Wainwright was this guy who basically mapped the Lake Districts with these uh, pictorial guides that are absolutely amazingly detailed and he kind of, uh, I suppose, assigned 214 of the fells as being worthy of cataloguing. Special status. Special status, yes. So we've been, been chipping away and we are, this is 112. Uh, oh no, we're short. It always happens. But the actual can is over there. False summit. But anyway, I promised you a Whitley 360, so I will do one. When night comes on to the farmhouse, we'll stay. We'll have a good supper and drink the strong beer. Wishing the farmers such a blessing. So we've now been going about one hour 40. And it's a bit breezy. Hats need to be tied on here. Um, yeah, the old chin strap, but the rather impressive summit can of Ilbell. If I come away there, give Jay in the background, I'll take you to the view. Looking back down, we'll go to the fields and we'll gather it in. Two hours forty-two. Thorn three crag and lunch crag. Oh, yes. Bread and uh, Philadelphia today. Other cheeses are available. Um, <laughs> uh, the rather fantastic uh, summit can in the background. And um, as far as uh, lunch views go, Not bad at all. It breaks my heart full so 7.3 miles and how long? Three hours, 25 minutes ish. And we're at uh, Mardell Ill Bell. This is our fifth today. Fifth today, but for only fourth new one. We've done one before. Check this out. That's uh, Lee Water. Lee Water behind us. Amazing time. To save my body from the cold, cold ground and my neck from the gallows tree. Oh no, I haven't brought you gold or silver to set you free. For to save your body from the Here we are at number six. Ken. Seven. Oh, sorry. Lost <laughs> seven. Uh, Camp here, Pine. And if I stand up here, you can see we kind of. Well, we started over there. Just in the background, looking at the on it ish. And then we went all the way along there, all the way along there, all the way along there, and round and round and round. Down. So we got one more. 
to go. And, oh geez, we've still got like three and a half, four miles to go. Although I haven't bought you gold or silver to set you free, or to save your body from the gold, gold crown and your neck from the gallows tree. Never seen wild horses at the Lake District, but these guys are amazing. The, the manes are look like something from a Pantan advert. Five and a half hours, shipman knots, Wainwright. My own true love. Coming over yonder style Oh true love Have you brought me gold Or silver to set me free For to save my body from the gold gold brown And my neck from the gallows tree